Welcome, as this is the first ever Fluffy Chops Tops Rewards, I will next year only rank for bad to the worst games or good to the best games that I've played in that particular year. It'll be like this for years to come. For the first ever, I will allow last year's FC Plays games this time, but just to note that this will not happen next year, it would only be games that I played in that year, and have in mind that these are my opinions on the games that I played. But I am interested in knowing what you think of what your what the games you played last you know this year, and you know like what games do you consider bad or good? I'm open to hear your comments. So like so put it, put your put your thoughts in the comments. I'd like like to I'd like to hear some of your thoughts on what your worst games are for this year or good games this year. Um, with that in little information sorted, let's start. So, here is the bad to the worst games of Fluffy Chops Tops Awards 2019. At number 1, Forestry 2017. Very boring, everyone in the world is gone, but that creepy guy, making the whole world feel very empty and, well, overall it's just plain boring, with a slow paced horse. You can't even upgrade fast. Sure, there seems to be ways of getting logs faster and more of them, but the cost of getting that is so high, it will take you a while dragging you down deeper into the boredom. The only thing that it doesn't beat 2 to 5 is that horse was the most funniest thing I've ever seen in a video game in a long while. I will not show it, but at the end of the video, you can click the link in the description to watch it if you wish. Anyways, just for that funny horse, it doesn't go in number 2 spot. And speaking of the number 2 spot, number 2. Welcome back, Daddy. This game doesn't even tell you what to do at all, making people who play it without watching a YouTube video to be confused like I was on what to do next. And it has a very boring game mechanic where you wait and you go to the hums, what well, takes you a while to go around the whole house because of the green light game style. I cut most of it out because, yeah, there was a few times of me going around the house of nothing really interesting going on. Oh, and the graphics to this game. I've seen my fair share of ugly and bad Unity games, but this one takes a cake. I've never, ever seen a Unity game look this bad before. Just look at them walls. Just look at the stretched textures on the walls. And it sure goes down as one of the worst looking games I've played for FC plays. I wouldn't be as angry as I am about the game if it was a £1 or even cheaper, like a 50p game. But no, it's £5.20 for this. And I say it's not worth it. Number 3 Gold Rush This was super boring, and I mean super boring. Boring then 1 to 2. My whole one hour recording of it was just filled with tutorial, and that is because I never got off the tutorial. And most of the time to do one job would take you about 18 minutes to do, but as you see in the full video, I just kind of gave up playing it right near the end, and I thought I can't take it anymore, and thought to stop now, what I did. This game is just very shit in my eyes. Oh. And after about three weeks from when I posted the game to my channel, I found out this Gold Rush game was really based around a TV show that is called, well, you should already know. Well, anyways, Gold Rush is more like Age Rush, because at the end of your game, I would really rush to 70 years old by the time I'm finished a fucking tutorial. Number 4 World Truck Racing 2014 a game published in 2014 is on the number 4 spot. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to point that out, <laughs> but I did anyways. What was wrong with this game, you may ask? Well, bad controls mostly. Sure, the controls improved a little when I started to use the Xbox controller instead of the keyboard, but it didn't change much. It was still handling rubbish, and on controller, no handbrake button was added, but they added one for the keyboard though. And it was also very buggy and broken to get recording the game. I did say that this game crashed my computer to blue screen or death and it crashed my proper screen a few times. And after the blue screen crash, 
the menu buttons were gone and I had to use Revo Pro Uninstaller and reinstall it to be able to play the game again as the buttons would never return after the crash. And the AI wasn't all that good as we saw on one race they would always go on the grass what slows the AI and even me down but they would all of them drive on it on some turns. Maybe this was a crap way of trying to make the levels easy and they get harder maybe. I say maybe because with how the AI works I got a hunch that the devs were just too lazy to program difficulties so they made the trucks go on the dirt. Either that or they're just bad at AI, both are bad though. And now the number 5 worst game I've played for FC plays is... Battle Royale Tycoon. Almost every bit of the game I hated and the looks of the game made me want to throw up some pixels just looking at it. And like I said, there are good looking trees outside of the map, but no, you get these very shit out of place trees that don't even match the ground itself. And well, I can't really say this is a tycoon. A tycoon game lets you take your own path to doing whatever the game wants or is built to do. That is what makes a tycoon good, because it's kind of a sandbox builder mixed in with managing the strategy as you build your world however you like. Then this crap says nah, we're not going to really be like a proper tycoon as there is no managing the strategy at all. There is kind of managing but it's not in a way that gets you thinking of if I go down this risky path, this may happen and will pay off later in the game. But if I take a more easier path, that it will slow the game, but it will not be as risky and it will pay off slower than the risky way. There is none, none of that tycoon thinking. You don't even need to think about what path to take. It doesn't seem to even matter. And for building of a sandbox bit of the tycoons, they just said, you know what? Fuck it. We will make the players do it how we want them to do it. Oh, you want it bigger? Nope! Can't, can't have that. Oh, you want the targeting to be a bit more smaller? No, can't have that. You must build it in this size or else you can't place it down. And the unlocks. Oh, the unlocks. In that 43 minutes recording session of me playing it, I finished about 70% of the unlocks and felt like, well, I've seen all the game has to offer now. Why do I have to unlock that? And also, I still had lots of room to place two more buildings. So all I needed to do was buy one bit of land out of, I believe, six tiles. I don't know anymore and I don't care. Unlock the last rooms and done. I built everything without using 50% of the map. Ugh. This game just gets my rage up. <sighs> it is not worth buying this game, because to make it more fun, they would have to change a lot, as well as remake the whole game, because I feel that this game was made in a few weeks to catch in with the rise of these Battle Royale games, when there was only Fortnite, Play Unknown, and when Call of Duty did it at the time, because that is just about when this game was released. Now that you have found out, what and why I rank these games as bad to worst, it's time to have a little look at three games that almost went onto the list and short reasons why they are bad, but not as bad as the rank ones. Airport Firefighter Simulator. Boring. All you do for a while is fence checking for a while, then it starts to become fun to play when it lets you do more fun things, but after like day 15 you have seen everything the game has to offer and loses all playability as you do the same thing over and over again for the rest of the game. Crept of the Necro Dancer. I think I said that right. Great soundtrack and I loved it at the time of recording but in the end it's a pain to master. I never got to zone 2 and I rage quitted this game slash uninstalled it after too many deaths of just getting nowhere in the game for five days of just trying my best, my hardest to get to the end. My summer car. Boring because it didn't tell me how to even build a car. If you know, then great, have fun. But if you don't, then yeah, it's a boring game. Only fun I had was just messing around or getting on that bus with BUS DRIVER! Thanks for watching this video. 
All the footage you have seen is in the description to the full videos of them. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell to be sure not to miss a FC Plays video or other video series that I'm doing on my channel that you may like. Tomorrow's video will be the good FC Plays games I've played list, so stay tuned for that. Well, thank you for watching, hope to see you in what episode it may be, and goodbye.